Supplies for this pattern, we'll need a pair of scissors, a darning needle for any ends that we have. For this, I'll be using a four and a half millimeter crochet hook, and we'll need cotton yarn. I'm using number four weight. You could use an acrylic yarn, but I found while each yarn has its ups and downs, cotton, I tend to throw it right if it gets dirty, I throw them right into the washing machine. Cotton will shrink, but also on the plus, cotton's not going to stretch out like an acrylic yarn. So for this, I'm just going to use the cotton yarn. To begin this pattern, we're going to start by creating a magic ring. And then we want to chain two which does not count as a stitch. And we want to put 16 double crochets into the magic ring. So yarn over, go into the ring, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through your first two loops, yarn over and go through your last two loops. And we want 16 of those double crochets. And then we want to pull the tail end of our magic ring in order to close. From here, we're going to slip stitch into the top of that very first double crochet stitch of the round in order to join. And there we are for round one. For round two, we're going to start off in chain two, which does not count as a stitch. Now we're going to put into the same stitch where we slip stitched into to join. We're going to double crochet four times into that stitch. And then from here, pull up our loop, take our hook, insert into the top of that first double crochet stitch of the round, reinsert our hook into that first loop that we were working out of, and pull through that first double crochet, and then chain two. And there we are for our first little puff that we're making for this round. And then we're going to skip our next stitch and into this next stitch after we're going to repeat this. So double crochet four times into that stitch. So we have two of those little puffs and then we'll, and remember, chain two at the end, skip our next stitch and repeat that double crochet four times and then create your puff stitch with the four double crochets. Do one more with you. So our four double crochets going in after we skip the one stitch. Re 
remove our hook, go into that very first double crochet of the group, reinsert your hook back into that first loop, pull through, chain two, and then skip one and do that same cluster of stitches right into our next. So we skip this one and this one will make the next little puff. And we want to do that all the way around. So we'll end up having a total of eight of these little puffs. And then at the very end, we're going to slip stitch right into that very top stitch. So here's our puff. Here's the top stitch that first for it. Slip stitch into there in order to join. And there we are for round two. For round three we're going to slip stitch so we're in the chain two space from here we're going to chain two this first chain two is not counting as a stitch now this is just going to be repeated into each of the chain spaces going all the way around so we're going to double crochet four times into the chain two space And then we're going to turn this stitch right into one of our puffs. And then from here, I'm going to chain three. And then we're going to do another puff right into this same chain two space. So double crochet four times. and then chain one. And now we're just gonna repeat this into each of the chain two spaces. Create a puff, a chain two, another puff, and then a chain one. So this is gonna be repeated a total of eight times. So double crochet four, Pull out our hook, go into the first double crochet, pull right through to create the puff, then chain three, create another puff right into that same chain two space. And chain one and repeat that into the next chain two space all the way around
and then at the end we're going to slip stitch to the very top stitch that holds together the first puff of our round in order to join and there we are for round three for round four we're going to slip stitch over so that we are working right out of that first chain three space and then we'll chain two which does not count as a stitch then we're going to into here double crochet four times And then chain two, double crochet four times again into that same chain three space. And then chain one. And we're going to repeat this into each chain three space going all the way around. So double crochet four times into the next chain three space. Chain two, double crochet four times into the same chain three space. And then chain one and we're going to repeat this all the way around so six more times And then slip stitch right into that first double crochet of the round in order to join. And there we are for round four. For round five, we're going to come back and slip stitch into that last chain one space. So we're just reaching backwards, pulling up a loop so that we're right here inside that chain one space. And then we'll chain one. And then into the chain two space, we're going to work four double crochets. And then chain four and then work four more double crochets into that same chain two space chain one slip stitch into your next chain one space and there we are for our repeat that we're going to do for this row chain one double crochet four times into the chain two space chain four double crochet four times into the chain two space chain one slip stitch into your next chain one space so i'll do one more with you chain one 
double crochet four times into this next chain two chain two space chain four, double crochet four times into the same chain two space. Chain one, slip stitch into your next chain one space. And there is two of the repeats for the round. Now we wanna repeat that six more times. So we'll have a total of eight of these made for this round. And then at the end here, we're going to slip stitch right into that chain one space in order to join. And there we are for the end of round five. For round six, we're gonna work right into that first slip stitch from our previous row. And we're going to just join our yarn into there and we want to chain four. For this only, this chain four does count as a treble crochet. Now going forward, we want to treble crochet two more times right into that same slip stitch. So yarn over twice, go into the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through your first two loops, yarn over, go through your second two loops, yarn over and go through your last two loops. And we want to do that one more time. So we just essentially did three treble crochets into the slip stitch. Now we want to chain five. And then we're going to slip stitch into the chain four space and then chain five. And there is our repeat that we're gonna be doing three treble crochets into the slip stitch, which is our next one right here, which is in between these little ups, chain five, slip stitch into the chain four space then chain five and we want to repeat that seven more times so treble crochet into the slip stitch chain five, slip stitch into the chain four space, chain five, and then just repeat this all the way around.
And now at the very end, we're going to slip stitch into that fourth chain of our first chain four of the round in order to join. And there we are with round six. For round seven, from here we chain two. This does not count as a stitch. And we're going to double crochet into that same stitch where we slip stitched into to join. And then double crochet into your next two stitches. And then we're gonna double crochet five times into the chain five space. And then we want to put one double crochet into that slip stitch. And then one double crochet five times into the chain five space. And there we are for our repeat for this round. We're gonna double crochet one time into the top of each of the treble crochets. Double crochet five times into the chain five space. Double crochet once into the slip stitch. Double crochet five times into the chain five space. And we're gonna repeat this all the way around. So double crochet once in the, the top of your next three treble crochet stitches from the previous row. Double crochet five times into the chain five space. Double crochet into that slip stitch double crochet into your chain five times into your chain five space. And keep repeating all the way around. And then at the end, we're going to slip stitch into the top of that first double crochet stitch of the round in order to join. And there we are 
for round seven. Now for rounds eight, nine, and 10, we're going to start with a simple chain two and then double crochet right into that very first stitch of the round and into each stitch all the way going around. So there'll be 112 double crochet stitches made. And then once you get back to the beginning, you're going to slip stitch into the top of that first double crochet, double crochet stitch of the round in order to join. And that will be the same thing for rounds eight, nine, and 10. All right, so here I've just finished round 10. For round 11, what we're going to do is single crochet starting in your very first stitch. And we're going to single crochet into your next 12 stitches. So your first one was one, two, So we did our 12 single crochets. Now into your next six stitches, we're going to half double crochet. So yarn over, go into the stitch, pull up a loop, three loops on our hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Now for our repeat, we're going to do this 19 times. And then for what that is, is we're going to double crochet, decrease, and then chain two and skip your next two. So yarn over, go into your stitch, pull up a loop, three loops on our hook, yarn over and go through your first two loops Then yarn over, go into the next stitch, pull up a loop, four loops on our hook, yarn over, go through your first two loops. Now our three loops here on our hook, yarn over and go through all three loops. There's our double crochet decrease. And then chain two, skip two, and then double crochet decrease. Chain two, skip two, and then we'll double crochet decrease into that third and fourth stitch. So for this round, for here, we want 19 total of these repeats, double crochet decreases, and then the chain two, skip two. So we did our 19th repeat. Now remember we skipped two. So into that third stitch, we're gonna do a half double crochet. And 
and then into your next five stitches you're going to do a half double crochet so six half double crochets total And then we're going to single crochet once into your next 12 stitches. And there we are. That is round 11. As you can see, it's slowly starting to close up the opening of our bag. For round 12, we're going to start into our first single crochet stitch and we're going to single crochet once into your next 12 stitches. And then we're going to half double crochet six times six times so one half double crochet into your next six stitches Now for our repeat that we're going to be doing, what we're going to do is chain one, skip your next stitch, and then we're going to double crochet, decrease, And we want to repeat this 19 times. So chain one, skip your next stitch, half double crochet decrease. So our decrease is going into the chains from the previous row. And we want to make sure we do a total of 19 of these. And then from here, we're going to half double crochet once into your next six stitches. And then single crochet once into your next 12 stitches.
And there we are for the end of round 12. So as you can see, it is closing up more and more for each row. Now for round 13, we'll single crochet once into your next 10 stitches. So one, so we've done our 10 single crochets. Now we want a half double crochet into your next eight stitches. One. And from here, we're going to half or Double crochet decrease 19 times. One. And then after your 19 double crochet decreases, we're going to half double crochet once into your next eight stitches. And then we're going to single crochet once into your next 10 stitches. And there we are for round 13. For round 14, we're going to slip stitch into each stitch all the way around, working through both loops. For this one, I'm just going to switch over. I'm going to take this blue yarn, add it in, just to give it a little bit more of a color pop. As you can see, this is just creating a little border going all the way around. And then from here, we can just tie off this blue. 
Now if you had used this same color, we'd still end up right here. So this just kind of gave it a little bit more of a color pop. And I find also whenever I'm doing decreases, I tend to do the top loop very loosely, habit of mine. And then the little slip stitch around just kind of keeps those pulled in together. All right, so step 15, we're going to start right from here and we're going to chain 18. And then we're going to slip stitch right into the next stitch over. So here was our last stitch from the round and here was the first stitch for round 13. It's also, if you can see the color contrast, that would be where we added the blue yarn and started our slip stitches. Now from here, we're just gonna turn our work and I'm going to single crochet once into each stitch, each chain, going back to the other side. And there we are with our little handle made. Now we're going to pull up a long loop. I'm going to say roughly 18 inches. And we can tie off our yarn. Now from here, because I did do the color contrast, now I do want to hide this. So I threaded the end of the yarn into our darning needle. I'm just going to come in to that first slip stitch, go behind the stitches, pull across, and I'm gonna go into the center of that very last slip stitch that we made. So what this is just doing is just hiding that seam. And then I can just go ahead and tie these. And then for finishing up our handle, we're just going to take our long tail end and start wrapping it around. Right at the base, I'm also wrapping in the ends that I use for the blue. Then I'll trim off whatever's showing here in a minute. And then I'll just take, once we get a nice little knot of stuff wound around from the yarn, I'm just going to thread our yarn into our darning needle. I'm just going to poke right through the center. I'm just going to go back and forth right through that center mass of wound together tail ends just a couple of times to secure. This is just a decorative little weave around. And then tie off. And here is our little hanging handle. 
So you can hang this right from a hook or if you have a dowel or something inside of whatever room it is that you're wishing to use a hanging basket. And there we are. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave it a little thumbs up like. Let me know what you think in the comments section. And if you have yet to subscribe, go ahead and hit that little subscribe button with that bell notification next to it so you can get a heads up every time I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.